Hello, my name is Blake and in this week's video I'm going to be finally updating sleigh bells. So first up I'll begin by saying the game is not unplayable. You can play it, it's just that quite a few people are running into issues with the mouse sensitivity being too low. So I quickly worked on an update which had a slider that would allow you to change the mouse sensitivity and that update has been ready for quite a while but I didn't put it out because I didn't know how to update games properly on itch.io and I looked into it and there seems to be two different methods. The preferred method is to use itch.io's command line tool called Butler, which will only upload the things that have been changed in the updated build. But I was still worried that deleting that build and uploading a new one would remove my whole download count and just tank the game because at the time it was sitting at number one on itch.io's popular page and I didn't want to do anything to undo that. But at the time of recording this, it's now at number three and as I have now more people telling me that they can't play the game because of this issue, I thought, well, you know, I might as well try and get the update out and if something goes wrong, well, so let's get to it. Obviously the biggest change to the game in this update is the ability to change the mouse sensitivity, but I've also fixed a heap of other bugs and issues, such as irritating item placement, some nav mesh issues which made it possible to bug out the ending of the game, and some very strange level layouts. I've also made some things which were unclear to the player more obvious, like that the arrow on the minimap points to your objective and not north. This process only took a couple of days, maybe two or three, but I think the update will have a big impact on its playability. Now that all of the files were zipped up and ready to go, it was time to upload them to itch.io. Now to use Butler, you have to use the command prompt, and luckily because I'd already tested this out before, thanks to a very helpful YouTube video which I'll link in the description, I already had Butler set up, but for some reason it was making me authenticate my account over and over again, which was a real pain. After trying a lot of different things, I completely logged out of everything, Butler and the command prompt, and just logged back in again, and I was able to authenticate my account this time. Now I'm not blaming Butler, I'm sure this is completely my fault because I really don't know what I'm doing, but but luckily I was able to get it to work. Next I wrote the line of code that I needed to upload my files to Butler, inputted them in the command prompt, and it didn't work. Three times. So I keep getting this context deadline exceeded error for some reason. So I've Googled it and apparently it's got something to do with the internet connection being too slow and that's causing it to time out. So I'm gonna hotspot my phone instead of going off of our Wi-Fi and hopefully that'll work. If not, I'm in a lot of trouble. Due to living in the country, my Wi-Fi connection is pretty terrible so I had to hotspot my phone instead. And it worked. I don't know why my phone hotspot is faster than our actual Wi-Fi, but who would know? I was now able to upload my files via Butler. With the new files now uploaded, I hid the old ones and luckily my download count remained. So as it turns out, Butler is actually very easy to use. Most of the issues I was having was due to my internet connection, but I would definitely be using it again. I'm just gonna have to be hotspotting off of this thing each time. But anyway, the update is now available. If you had issues with the mouse sensitivity before, go download this new version and hopefully everything will be fixed. And before I go, I'm currently working on a new survival horror game. I don't have much to show and I'm not ready to announce anything yet. You can check out some stuff from the game on my Twitter and Instagram. I'll put my usernames for those up here somewhere. So there'll be more on that coming soon. If you've liked this video, be sure to give it a like and comment down below to tell me your thoughts on it and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Hopefully next week's video will be a little bit more interesting interesting than this one.